This was one busy beaver. Hello, hey, how's it going? So, in my last video, I told you that I've just started a new job with the Swedish speaking company, and that's awesome. It's a really big learning curve. There's been a lot of information, and it's been in Swedish mostly. So, yeah, I mean, great step in the right direction. But what's even better is that although I live in a pretty remote area, I can actually travel to work. So I work in an office in the closest city, which is about an hour away. And so that means that I typically leave home at 7 a.m. in order to get to the office at 8, and I leave at 5 p.m., which means that I typically get home at around 6 to 6.30 p.m. By this time, <laughs> as you'd expect in Sweden in the winter seasons, it's pretty dark when I get back and when I leave to work, so basically the only time I get to see the house in the daylight right now is on the weekends. So every day when I'd get home from work, I just see logs in the darkness just piling up every single day, and the pile obviously getting bigger and bigger. And that was surprising to me because when we bought the house, we knew that the area to the back of the house behind this window here was going to be taken down, the trees were going to be chopped down, but we were told by the previous owner that the front area of the house, which is behind you guys right now, that was meant to stay. There were no plans to chop that down. Well, that's what we were told. And uh, <laughs> obviously plans have changed because when I got my first weekend back from the first week at work and I got to spend time in our house in the daytime, I got to see the full extent of what they've been doing in the week that I've been working. It was, uh, it was something. This was dense forest, guys. If you check a few videos ago, I have a running video where I run specifically down this area and it's nothing but trees. And now it's... Oh, they look cold. I hope they're okay. So if you haven't seen my previous video, the garden tour video, I definitely recommend it because I go through a bit of the backstory behind this property that we're in now. So I talk about this property, I talk about the area surrounding it and the history of the area and the relationship that it's had with the forest and why this particular forest that our house is situated in is in need of felling. So a lot of the trees are actually like this. This is just a bit more exaggerated, but you can just see the trees are rotting from the inside. It's just a bug that these trees have. So this was something that we were aware of when we bought the house, but I guess we weren't sufficiently aware of the amount of work that had to be carried out. So if you're considering buying a house in the tranquil woodland of Sweden, this is something that you probably want to be aware of. And it leads to a good piece of advice. Find out which company owns the forest land before you start to purchase a property and make sure that you're aware of any future plans that they might have for the forest before you make a commitment on the house. Like I said in my last video, Forestry is a huge industry in Sweden and it's a largely necessary one. The owner of the forest land is obligated to make sure that the forest land is well maintained and that includes felling trees where necessary. And the last thing that you'd want is to buy your dream property only to have the environment completely taken away without your knowledge. Now, is this a deal breaker for us uh, to have this house right now in this area that's being chopped down? No, absolutely not. Both me and Media still feel incredibly lucky to live in a place like this where there's no major roads, so we don't hear any noise, apart from the big giant chainsaw trucks. But they'll go hopefully soon. <laughs> uh, still live in a place where the nature is still absolutely beautiful, 
with a small town vibe and a community feel where all the people are really lovely and dependable. Of course, it wasn't the nicest thing to come home to all of this forest being taken away in the span of probably two weeks. But at the same time, doing our due diligence on the property before having purchased it would probably have allowed us to prepare a little bit more for the situation and I don't think it would have factored into whether we bought the house or not. Also, I have to say, the people who cut down the trees are super productive. There's only two trucks that have done all of that damage in two weeks. To me, that's insane. Um, all of this has been done by just these two <laughs> machines, which is actually incredible. This has been only been two weeks and they're really small. Here's my hand for scale. But over the past couple of years, since moving from Ireland, I've been doing a lot of work in order to lower my stress levels and keep them at a low place, just to be able to keep a cool head. And I mentioned in my previous videos that living in Sweden for these past couple of years has done a tremendous amount of work in order to improve my overall well-being and how I manage my stress levels. And I will definitely talk more about that in a future video. But it's times like these where you get to really test your progress. Realistically, there's nothing that me or Media can do about the situation that's happening out there right now. The trees have already been taken down. We can't just like take them and stick it back in the ground. So I mean, the only thing that we can control is just how we're going to react to this situation. And yeah, I'm going to try and be funny about it. <laughs> Must be Wednesday. Also, I did contact the company that owns the forest land that are cutting down the trees right now just to see what the plans are for the area. And they were amazing and super helpful about the entire situation. They didn't have to respond to my request to understand what's happening. It's their forest. They can do what they want. But they did. And I really appreciate that. And the things that they said, they were able to tell me that there's no infrastructure that's going to be built on that land. They gave me a map detailing where they're going to cut down. And they told me specifically that they're trying not to cut down trees that would allow the view to be seen from my house, which is to me going the extra mile. That's just something that I really appreciate and I didn't know that they were actively doing. It makes me feel a lot better about the situation. So just through there is where the trees have been cut down. So in the spring, when the leaves start to come back, we shouldn't be able to see anything at all, really. So fingers crossed. And they also said that if everything goes to plan, they are going to start replanting the forest in spring 2025. So that's music to my ears and it's probably the best outcome I could have possibly wished for because the forest did need to be replanted. We already said in the previous video that it has been really poorly maintained and a lot of the trees are diseased. But the hope is now that they're going to replant the forest in a much healthier way. And because we want to live in this house for many years to come, we'll be able to experience a forest again in a couple of decades. And to me, that will definitely be worth the wait to have a happy and healthy house in a happy and healthy forest in a beautiful area. I can't ask for more. Well, that's it guys. That's the information that I wanted to share with you today. I feel like it's a very overlooked aspect of buying a house in Sweden. And you have to understand that with forestry being such a big industry in Sweden, there's a possibility that the forest around your house is just temporary. If that's something that's going to make or break a home for you, take care when buying a house. Be smart before you buy a house. Look into the company that owns the forest. Make sure there's no plans to build wind turbines or infrastructure or anything like that that's going to spoil your dream and just make sure you know what's happening in that area. In our case, it wasn't a deal breaker, but I can imagine in many other cases it would be. The last thing I want is for you to have to compromise on a dream that you are working really hard for. And I haven't really seen anyone talk about this topic, so let's make people aware of this possibility. Um, but yeah, if you found this information useful, drop a like on the video, make sure to subscribe, and I'll provide you with as much content as I possibly can. Thank you guys for the support on the last video. It's been kind of tough um, with the amount of adjustments that I'm having to make after starting a new job. Um, but I'm starting to get into the swing of things now and I'll be able to start making regular uploads. It's just been a bit of a learning curve, should we say. It's been a lot of information, a lot of 
Swedish information. But until next time, catch you later.